Ideally, the first unit gets there in about four minutes or less and establishes patient care, takes vitals, uh, a, a general history of the patient, and assesses whether or not this is a probable heart attack or not. So the ambulance will arrive shortly after that and obtain a 12 lead EKG. That is then transmitted to the hospital and assessed as to whether or not the patient is having a STEMI, which is an ST elevation MI. And we will package the patient, get him on the way to the, him or her on the way to the hospital. When someone is coming in by EMS with a heart attack, EMS will fax us their 12 lead EKG. And then once we get that, we will have one of our ear providers look at that. And then if they see that ST elevation, they can confirm that that is in fact heart attack. We can go ahead and have the clerk page the cath lab and the cardiologist on call. In the meantime, EMS is calling report. They will give us that patient's birth date, their age, and then a rundown of what's going on, um, what symptoms the patient's having, when they started, um, a current set of vitals, their current heart rhythm, they have an IV established, any medications they might have given. When someone comes in by private vehicle, they will come to the triage window out front and they will let that nurse know that they are having chest pain. Um, that nurse will then get their name, their birth date, and some additional information, and then they will get them back to a room. Once that patient gets to a room, they become a very popular patient. We come at them from all different angles. One of us is working on getting them into the computer system. Another nurse is working on getting them into a gown and on the heart monitor. Another nurse is working on that 12-week EKG. And then someone else is working on an IV site. Someone's getting a provider at the bedside. And you know, we come at them from all different angles, but we try to let them know what we're doing and why and kind of what to happen next. Once that EKG is done and it is confirmed that that patient is having a heart attack, we can then kind of join us that same path as if they were coming in by EMS and letting the cath lab know. So we bring the, we'll, we'll bring the person into the cardiac cath lab, they'll go on the table. Uh, once we get them all you know, cleaned and ready to go, which doesn't take long, uh, the doctor will enter the artery with a, with a wire and a catheter. We'll take that catheter directly up into the heart, inject some dye that will show us the nature of what the, the vessels look like. If there's any blockages within the artery, we see it immediately there, and then we go right into treating it. So there's, uh, you know, by the time you, the patient hits the door of the cath lab until we're, you know, blowing the balloon up is really just a matter of minutes. Regardless of how you got here, whether that's by EMS or by private car, our goal here at Finley Hospital is door to balloon in 60 minutes meaning from the moment you walk through the door or roll through the door to the time you're up in the cath lab and that stent is being placed and all of the steps that happen in between, we like all of that to happen within 60 minutes. Um, that's something that is a goal uh, for us here at Finley Hospital. Um, that's something that we strive for every day so that we, we can continue to provide that best patient outcome. And it's uh, one of the coolest things you ever will see is you'll see someone in there having a heart attack. They're literally, you know, dying in front of you and we'll, we'll put the balloon up, uh, open the blockage and it's almost immediate relief. You can almost see people, just their color changes, their, you know, they can relax. You, uh, it, it's, it's one of the literally, I mean, it, it kind of keeps us going as what, doing what we do because it's amazing to actually like, hey, I saved a life, that's pretty cool.